okay so we were done with the biomolecule that was protein now let's move forward with another biomolecule that is the new topic that is lipid first of all what is lipid lipid is basically the organic compound this is basically the organic compound or you can say that the organism in which glucose is stored for a long time organism in which glucose is stored for a long time okay so this is also a biomolecule we can get them from the plants animals okay so the bio this is the biomolecule and this is the organic compound and basically this is a heterogeneous group of organic compound but heterogeneous means not same they are the uh, they are not the same uh, they are not composed of the same organic compound they are composed of different organic compounds and the lipid is basically insoluble in water it's insoluble in water it cannot dissolve in water okay that the, the that are lipids are not soluble in water they are insoluble in water so the terminology that we use is the hydrophobic hydrophobic means that cannot dissolve in water so lipid is hydrophobic okay so it is hydrophobic and it is soluble or you can say that it is hydrophilic in and you can say that organic solvents organic solvents organic organic solvents this is insoluble in water but there is soluble in organic solvent soluble means hydrophilic this is hydrophilic hydrophilic means soluble in in organic solvents so hydrophilic means that is soluble in organic solvents which type of organic which type of organic solvents that can be alcohol that can be acetone that can be ethyl etc so they are basically organic solvents some of them are alcohol they are the organic solvents so they are soluble in the organic solvents and the lipids are composed of carbon hydrogen and oxygen like carbohydrate 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 was also composed of carbon hydrogen oxygen that are also composed of carbon hydrogen and oxygen but there is the point that carbohydrate were composed of carbon hydrogen oxygen these are also composed of carbon hydrogen oxygen but they have they have less oxygen than carbohydrate they are having the high amount of hydrocarbon hydrogen and carbon but less amount of oxygen that is main point okay that's the difference between carbohydrates and lipid they are having the less oxygen okay for example let's take the example of triesterine that is a lipid okay that is having the molecular formula that is C57H10O6 you can see that carbon is 57 and the double of the carbon is hydrogen and oxygen is in very less amount so that's a lipid okay so uh, they are basically the context of the hydrocarbons okay they are having the double amount of energy rather than the carbohydrate they are having the more energy they are having the more energy than carbohydrate okay and we get lipids from living organisms like plants animal like butter from cow uh, through the milk cotton from plant they are the fats oil these all are the lipids fats 
oils waxes phospholipid we'll be talking about them as well these all are the lipids lipids is basically the oil okay now you can say that now we will be talking about that how lipid is formed in actually okay so in general let's uh, talk about that in generally generally the uh, example of the lipids can be uh, you can say that acylglycerol okay waxes phospholipids uh, terpenoid which is the fragrance okay these all are the example of the lipids okay now if you're talking about the fats and oil if you are talking about the fats and oil yeah one more thing one more thing is that lipids are the components of the cell membrane like phospholipid cholesterol they are work as a energy stores okay so that can also a uh, lipids now if you're talking about the fats and oil these are also the lipid and we call it as a we call fats and oil as a triglycerol or you can say that tri acyl glyceride okay a uh, tri tri acyl glycerol triacyl glycerate or you can say the acyl glycerol to the fats or oils that are also the lipids okay so we are talking about the acyl glycerol triglycerol and triglyceride okay so basically acyl glycerol is the most abundant most abundant lipid these are the most abundant lipid in living things okay so acyl glycerol are defined as the you can say that as a bond of ester let me give you the example let me give you the example that that is you can say that that is a let me give you the example of methanol that is a glycerol okay that is the alcohol or you can say that glycerol so they this is the you can say that glycerol so uh, the formula of the methanol is the hydrogen carbon hydrogen hydrogen and here we i am taking the ethanoic acid okay here i am taking the ethanoic acid that is a fatty acid okay if you are talking about that the the formula of this that can be this carbon oxygen and hydrogen okay if you are talking about the oxygen hydrogen okay if you are saying that uh, the formation okay so if the hydrogen here form hydrogen and from that the hydro hydrogen and hydroxyl hydrogen and hydroxyl will be get removed and the water will be the product and the formation of the after the breaking down of water the formation of the of the you can say the compound that will the methyl ethanol okay so that can be the you can say that that can be the example okay so that is the okay the formation of you can say that the acyl glycerol can be defined as the ester that the, the removing of the water and the product is there that is called the ester bond okay how what how we can say that is the ester bond that an ester is a, basically a compound as the result of the chemical reaction of the alcohol with the acid and the water is released such a reaction is called the ester or the esterification esterification 
or you can see that ester the formula of this is the uh, this is methyl ethanol let me explain you again this is a you can say that this is a alcohol and this is acid okay when the water is released from that the compound the formation that is that is called the ester or as the esterification okay so if you are talking about the now we are talking about the glycerol glycerol okay glycerol is also a alcohol let me give you another example glycerol glycerol is a trihydrooxyl alcohol means they are having the three hydrooxyl group okay they are having the three hydrooxyl group which is containing of the three carbon let me make here and that can be you can easily understand that okay so this is so this is a glycerol glycerol is having the three hydrooxyl tri hydroxyl they are in a three hydroxyl group and with that they are having the three carbons you can see here they are having the three carbons and they are having the three hydroxyl group okay and we are attaching that attaching that with the you can say that with the let me make the structure of the fatty acid okay so that let me make it and i'll be uh, telling you easily that is okay if you are talking about that that is also the same structure okay so this is fatty acid what is fatty acid fatty acid is the organic acid which contain the one carboxyl group which contain the one carboxyl group what is carboxyl group c w h this is the carboxyl group and the r is a uh, basically the r is a hydrocarbon okay that can be any fatty acid we can add any fatty acid r is the variable that can be any fatty acid okay so you can see that this is a glycerol i have taken the glycerol as a alcohol and fatty acid acid okay so you can see that that the formation now i'll be telling you the formation okay there is a water release water will be released from that the hydrogen and hydroxyl group no hydro hydroxyl yeah hydrogen hydroxyl hydrogen hydroxyl this is the three water molecule 3h2o and the formation will be the let me make the structure it's that can be easy for you guys to understand okay so that can be similar okay so the water is removed okay and the oxygen is attached with the carbon as you can see that so the the removing of the water this is another the removing of the water and there is a formation of the ester bond this is the ester bond that is called the esterification that the formation of the releasing after the releasing of the water the formation of the product okay that is called the esterification and the water is released that we can say as a condensation process through which the water get released okay so the product that is formed is tri acyl glycerol what does it means tri acyl glycerol that means that there is the one glycerol there the one glycerol and they are the three fatty acid there the three fatty acid and they are having the one glycerol 
okay one glycerol and three fatty acid and the water with that is removed is the three h2o so that is the formation of the triacylglycerol that is uh, you can say that that is the formation that is composed of one glycerol and the three fatty acid one glycerol and three fatty acid okay so that is called the you can say that is a called the esterification bond or you can say that bond so these the triacylglycerol is also a lipid okay a fatty acid that is a lipid and alcohol okay uh, this is the alcohol so this is the alcohol fatty acid as you guys know that this is the organic acid which is composed of the one or carboxyl group that is c w o h so if we are talking about that the in the chemical reaction one acid when a glycerol molecule is combined with one fatty acid when the glycerol is combining with one fatty acid one fatty acid that is called the monoacyl monoacyl glycerol or you can say that the monoacyl glycerate okay when the glycerol is attaching with you can say that when uh, a glycerol when two fatty acid is combined with a glycerol two fatty acid combined with a glycerol that is called the diglycerol diglycerol and when the three one glycerol is attaching with the three fatty acid that is called the triglycerol okay so glycerol as you call as you guys know that is the alcohol and triglycerol means they are having the one fatty acid and one fatty one three fatty acid and one glycerol okay so as you guys understand that if the glycerol is attaching with one fatty acid that is called monoglycerol if the glycerol is attaching with the two uh, you can say the fatty acid that is called the diglycerol if the glycerol is attaching with the three fatty acids fatty acid that is called the triglycerol okay and the triglycerol is also called the neutral lipid that is called the neutral lipid Be why because the the fatty acid hydroxyl group all are like you can say that all are having the bond with the glycerol that's why they are called the neutral lipids because the fatty all fatty acid three to they all three fatty acid have make the bond with the glycerol that's why it is called the neutral lipid okay because there is no carbo no there is no hydroxyl group is left they all are having bond with the glycerol that's why they are called the neutral lipids so that was the formation of the triacyl glycerol acyl glycerol okay so that is the neutral lipid you can say that okay so what is lipid lipid is basically a you can say that this is a form this is the organic compound and that is formed of the fats oil and you can say that if the glucose is stored for a long time in a in our body that is called the fats okay that is called the fats now let's move toward the saturated and unsaturated lipids saturated means a lipid that is having no double bond and unsaturated means that are that are having the dub more than one double bond and that can easily solidify at the room temperature at the room temperature okay why because they are having no double bond that can easily solidify and these you can say that the fats are basically stored in adipose tissue this is the main point and if we are talking about the where we can ex get from so th the saturated lipids we get from the animals and one is a plant that is coconut plant we can get them saturated saturated fatty acid we can get easily okay because they are having a number of uh, you can say the double bond with a carbon so yeah so uh, they are having 
no double bond they are having the single double bond okay for example you can get take the example of palmitic oil palmitic oil or even palmitic acid they are having no double bond so that is palmitic acid that is the example of saturated fatty acid okay and we can get them from the animal lipids or animal fats okay and we can just that can easily solidify at the room temperature if you're talking about this that cannot solidify at the room temperature they are having the one or more pairs with the carbon uh, or the double bond and they are basically <clears throat> become liquid at room temperature at room temperature okay and we get them from plants like oils cooking oils like vegetable oil you can say the olive oil they all are the unsaturated example and palmitic oil can be the example and uh, stearic can be the example okay so that is all the fats and oil and that is also only the oil okay so that is the most understand so steric acid we get them from you can say that we can get them from the butter cocoa butter okay so that is the fatty acid or you can say that there are the lipids fatty acid what fatty acid are the lipids and fats are the lipids oils are the lipids that all are the types of lipid flexes or uh, you can say phospholipids uh, terpenoid they all are the lipids so we are done with the lipids in the next video we go going to the next type of the lipid that is vexes okay